I'm gonna let her go into her normal deal because she is familiar with the bird dog and then I'm gonna correct her. But she's in the quadruped. She's locking in right now. She's stiffening her core. She's putting out, pushing out laterally. She's pulling her lats down. And so now what she's gonna do now is she's gonna use proximal stiffness to unleash distal mobility, okay? So now she's gonna stabilize and she's gonna raise one arm forward and one leg back. So a couple cues here is right away, push the earth away and get a little taller, right there, but don't twist, right there, good. Now I want you to really get that hip extended. So her leg is nice and, and good right now, I might lower it a hair, but I want you to really drive that heel back and toe down. There you go, so heel back, toe down, there we go. So that really turns on the glute there. She's stable, yes, she's nice and stable. These are done best for about a 10 second hold, doing the Russian pyramid, starting with three or four sets, eventually going five sets, resting four sets, resting three, you can relax. But to start, these things are a lot more difficult than you, than you think by doing them. Many people that come to see me have been doing bird dogs and, and McGill three for years, but they're not using the neuromuscular aspects of squeezing and making everything tight. Go ahead and get into another bird dog from me, for me. Same leg. Yeah, let's go to the opposite now. And let's see if we need any corrections. Okay, so each side's gonna be a little bit different. So I want her to get a little taller, just a little taller here. That's it, that's all you got, okay. <laughs> Drive the heel back, lift the, now toe down. There we go, good. Heel back, toe down, nice and stable. Now relax. 